Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and it's a bit of a bonus video of this, a revisited one on the ZX Spectrum. I'm going to be looking at Plunder, published by CCS in 1983. It's a game that also came out on the BBC Micro and the reason why we're revisiting is it's a game I did very early in the channel where my sound was uh, particularly rubbish. So the three levels will do a short game, it took, consists of 60 turns. Now this game is set in Tudor times, in the times of Elizabeth I in 1587. You control a boat around this map. Um, there's different buttons to do different directions. Uh, hopefully I don't get them mixed up otherwise we'll run aground. We've got off to a good start. Now you must patrol this map um, attacking Spanish ships because they're trying to get gold um, to fund the Spanish Armada and destroy the United Kingdom. And that's about it really. So you see my uh, turns there is, uh, oh, can't your boat is free so far. Ship overhead captain, it looks like a merchant, right? We have to decide where to attack or not. Look at our stats, we've got weaponry 20, so that's 20 cannons, 200 men, 199 damage points. If that goes to zero, we're sunk. The weather is rough, we will lose people every now and again. So shoot! The blue ship's up the top, that's the enemy. I'm the dark ship below. Looks like we're winning this one. Right, the merchant surrenders. So we've already captured 4,755 gold pieces. And you can see there um, in the bottom uh, left. Get it? So we need to get enough gold to stop the Spanish Armada and without destroying our ship. Those red dots around the map you see connected to uh, countries are ports. We can go in there and buy stuff. Oops, I've got the wrong direction there. But we found another merchant. There's different boats. The merchant is the easiest to get. There's troop ships and warships. Avoid the warships uh, fighting with them uh, because they will give you a pounding unless you've maxed up your ship. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do. So I played this a lot back in the day. Did you own this one on the ZX Spectrum or the uh, BBC Micro? If so, let me know. I haven't seen it on the BBC Micro, but I imagine it plays quite similar. It's quite a nice game this, there's a few random elements to it also. Now we're going to board this ship because I thought if we attack it again it might sink. Good, because it's all about getting the gold so you can upgrade your bolt. So we've already lost two cannons. You see on the uh, right column there at the bottom is telling us w what we've lost each time. In storms the ship will take more damage but we're going to head towards this port now. So get ready for some super docking excitement buttons 5 and 8. We must avoid all the ships in the harbour without colliding into them, here they are, and get this magenta thing down the bottom. There we go. So this one looks quite easy. We are on easy mode actually, so harder mode there might be more ships, but uh, we just need to, we, well we don't do anything here, we're just going to career into the harbour and we're docking to the marketplace. Right, so we are at this marketplace here. Different, um, there's all the different marketplaces have different um, prices for their stuff, so you could trade if you're doing a long game going backward and forward. Right, so I've got two cannons. I'm spending all my gold, so I've upgraded the cannons to maximum. I really want to get my crew and repairs up to the top as well. Uh, 35 men, that'll get me back to where I started. Right, so now we can upgrade the ship. Back in the day, I did hack into this and um, gave myself the maximum of stuff. I think you could have like five, 400 cannons, but you can get around that. The more weapon you got, the more vicious your ship is in fighting, and the more men you've got, the better you are for boarding ships, in particular troop ships. Uh, warships, as I say, don't attack them unless you've got really lots of weapon power. So you can see we've had two victors, naught defeats, and there's 60 turns to go. So you won't be having any short games of this, they will go on quite some time. Oh, 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 a pirate's life for me. But we're not pirates, we're representing Elizabeth I. Um, we're, our main competitor is Francis Drake. Oh god, I don't get my buttons mixed up here, I can run aground. Um, right, it's three, four, five, six, uh, oh god, that's three there. Oh, another, like, warship. Now, if, I don't feel like attacking that at the moment, so we're going to do a cowardly retreat. A attack, R retreat. We've retreated. So, two victors, one defeat. I mean, no mood to get to warships. There are slight like, strange islands to find. Oh, look at this. A peculiar glittering mist. Do you wish to investigate? Yes, I do, and it's... Oh, God. Yeah, we've hit a plague ship, so... 
Three random things can happen there. You either hit this, which destroys a third of your crew, which is quite vicious. You can find an island with 20 shipwrecked man mariners who join your crew and with jewels and grain and stuff which you can sell at the market. But I didn't do very well there. So uh, we this go might not get to the end. A warship, so it's all going a bit bad. I'm, I'm not attacking a warship with just 141 men. Right, so we need a, we need a bit of luck here. We're already 17 turns in. Merchant will attack that because that's got gold, and we need gold uh, to upgrade stuff. Gold, always remember something. I've forgotten it. Du 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 du. Attack! Attack that blue ship. It's the Spanish Armada. Well, no, they're getting gold to fund it. It's taken, it's taken minus one hit. How's that possible? The ship is in better condition than when I attacked it. Well, that's that's poor. That's poor woman ship. I don't know how I'm there. Maybe it'll get stronger and stronger. Right, we've hit it once. Quit it twice. Take that. Oh, that's going to sink, isn't it? No. Should we risk boarding that? There can't be too many people left with 77. We've got 123 men. Oh, well, we might risk it here. Uh, we didn't risk it. Just don't sink. I want the gold. If it sinks, you lose the gold. It sunk. Oh, curses. Right, anyway. Three victories, three, three defeats. It's rough weather. Um, the, the ship's damage is still okay. If you run out of men, of course, there's no one to drive the ship. If the ship's damage takes too much, you're sunk as well. Where am I going? Just trying to get used to the controls here in open water, so I know which direction goes where. Don't want to run aground like the start. 24 turns out of 60, or 25 now. We're almost halfway through. Um, right. We need to get all around the map here. Yeah, if you've played a... I was going to do the long game, but that review would take about half an hour, and I think, as a revisited, I, I think... Um, I don't know how long this is going to last. Quarter of an hour? Hmm, should we go for it again? Let's risk it again. What's the worst that could happen? Hooray! So there's one of the random things that could happen there. Yeah, we found a sort of like Marie Celeste. We've got two jewels, 20 sacks of grain. When we get to the next market, we could probably sell those. And exchange for, like, extra men. Merchant. Ship up ahead, Captain. Looks like a merchant. Well, we should be able to get that. Fire! As a kid, um, my imagination really uh, went away with me on these ones. Um, you know, it's a great little game. I always remember thinking, I wish someone, because you could break into this game, recode it. I always wanted, I had a go at it myself, it didn't really work. Someone uh, reskinned it so it's like a space game. So when you go into the port, you're avoiding UFOs or something. And here, it'll be open uh, warfare, like the UFOs against each other. But uh, it never happened. Could have done. Three hits, that's not great, is it? This ship's just in the way, really. I need to get to the port. I've got 1,049 gold to spend. So far, we've stopped 14,700. I think we might have to get that up to 60,000. I'm not sure. Oh, this merchant still hasn't sunk. Right, I was hoping they'd surrender there. Yes. We're risking boarding. Hope I don't lose too many. Yes. Enemies men left 10. We got nine men of our got killed there, so that's not too bad. And we should be into port with the number three. There we go. Five and eight, you know the drill. Let's go. Wish me luck. Don't crash into any of these boats. Oh, they're all galleons. Oh, God, it's right over there. I think we can do this. Also, if you bump into those blue walls, you're dead as well. Yeah, this should be okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, boom. What an odd place to put the harbour. Good. Right, you, you will notice the cost of stuff is, is changing, but we'll sell our jewels and our grain. Jewels 731 to them, that, that's worth a couple of cannons each. And we need to sell that grain as well. How, oops, I, went into, I think I've gone into opium in error, but I don't have that. So the computer knows when you haven't got stuff, so you can't short it like you can in the stock market. We need to sell the grain. 144 per sack. It's good, isn't it? That's, um, so grain is worth about three crew members. That seems a bit strange, isn't it? A market where you can buy extra crew. They're in a box. Unpack them. So get this back to where I was to start off with. Let's see how I can enhance the ship. It's not looking too bad. When Beelum Dockside. Right, two cannons. Good. 
spend the rest on men. Oh, so not in more than one. Anyway, never mind. What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Tudor times. If you were around in Tudor times and went around in a boat like Francis Drake, then comment below. What was the name of your ship? And please think of something absolutely stupid. Think my ship was called... Yeah, please. Fill in the space there. Right. Uh, I think we're out of dough now. 22 gold pieces left. 220, 217, 22. Right, off we go. Oh, God, don't run aground. What's the buttons? Um, What about eight? What does that do? I'm a bit nervous now. Oh, got away with it. Good. Yeah, you could sail a ship one kilometre inland, uh, but it just breaks straight away. With stormy weather. Right, calm seas now. We'll go up this coast and then probably do a turn and go back to Blighty. Another merchant. Well, they're easy pickings. We know this. 34 turns out of 60. Duh, duh, duh. No sharks in this or fishes or kill hauling going on. Come on, blue ship. Take some hits. Good. No hits for me. 77 hits. That's a lot. I don't think there'll be too many people left aboard that boat now. They would have taken some huge damage. So I'm boarding. Please give up your gold, and they do. Enemy men left one. Shall we continue up the coast? Let's continue up here. What country is this? It must be America somewhere. We won't go to all the ports. A galleon. Well, that's different. They are a bit more meatier than a merchant, I think. But the same thing applies. We'll be attacking it. We need to get the gold in. If we don't stop the Spanish Armada, then Great Britain will be overtaken and we won't get to do that mess of Brexit. Um, so we're sort of like going back in time here. If your galleon can go up to 88 miles an hour, it might be a time machine. If, if that is so, then let us know. Ship ahead, there's another merchant. So there's ships galore around here. Our single ship is taking out a lot of vessels. You never have to destroy one, more than one ship at the same time. They're all um, isolated, so you won't hit an armada, because that would be absolutely terrible. Cannons are staying up well. We've still got 22 of those, which is looking good. It's looking mighty good. And they've surrendered already, so another 4k. Look at that, we've got 15,000 bits of gold to spend. Oh, we're going to have to upgrade our ship massively now. Attack. We're just, we're just on fire now, not literally. Yeah, I would have liked to have been on one of these ships. I don't think, is there any still in operation? This would be the 16th century. Uh, Queen Elizabeth I, 1587. Was the sequel better, Elizabeth II? I'm not sure. When's there going to be Elizabeth III? Well, probably not in my lifetime. Unless I somehow win a competition to live forever. But I don't think there's too many of those about. 76, 76. So what is the most um, nearest, this is very retro this, uh, fantastic game for 1983. What's the nearest game to this around nowadays? Could it have an HD remake? 3D where you're actually on the ship? If there is one then let me know. Oh man, no we don't want to mess with that, not with 21 cannons. If I had 30 cannons I'd mess with it. So a strategic retreat, you might call me Yellow Chicken, that might be the name of my ship. Right, into the port we go. We've got, we've got a load of money to spend. Check your route out. I think you've got the idea of this. So, you know, if you've got a, a real Spectrum or emulation, I would really recommend tracking this down. It's one of my favourites there, just because of the adventure type thing going on. It's Plunder. P-L-U-N-D-E-R. Boob. Right, cannons there. Uh, ship repairs are quite cheap in this place. We've only got 19 goes after this. I think we need, as I say, I think we need 60,000 gold in total. I wasn't paying attention at the start there. But nice choice of colours. It's using all the Spectrum stuff quite well. Uh, another good um, adventure game, uh, if you're looking for that in a similar sort of style, would be The Wild Bunch by Firebird Software. Check that one out. We have reviewed it again quite some time ago. So maybe it's something we need to revisit as well. Good music in that one as well. You have to track down the, um, well, the five members of the Wild Bunch, but in particular, the one that shot someone which you've been framed for the murder. Dee 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 That's music from that one. This one hasn't, hasn't got too much music. I remember being blown away um, when I was a kid just by the sound of the cursor on this because a poke's gone in to make it sound higher than the normal clicking. Well, kids were easily entertained back then. 
Right, as you can see, we've built up this, this ship, so it's getting quite strong now. 27 cannons, 300 men, you don't have the money full. See, Mr. T seems to say stuff in here as well. Uh, I don't know if he was involved. I don't think he was. Right, so, I, I'm quite confident we're going to win this. We just need to get enough stuff. Maybe still keep away from the warships. We'll head back to Blighty now, if we can. I don't think we've got enough turns to get back to Blighty, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are on the map, you are just patrolling the seas, and I think it's just random where stuff is. It's not like battleship. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. We, we've done that twice. One, we got Ferdinand wiped out. The second one, we got grain. What next? Merchant will take that. We probably just need to just kill... It might be just 50,000 bits of gold we need. We probably only need to sink another three... We'll capture another three more ships, and then we've, we've won. Elizabeth I will be well happy. She will knight us or give us a big rough. Uh, she's not impressed, she'll cut her head off. Oh, we took a hit there. We lost 26, 28 and 14 men and two cannons. That was quite costly. Yeah. Who's equipped this boat? That's it, take that. Oh, that's going to sink, I think. Yeah, that's going to sink. It's on fire, it's sunk into the ocean, never to be seen again. Down to Davy Jones' locker. A troop ship. That's the first one of those we've seen. Them. This, now these sort of ships, it's a bad idea to board them because as the name suggests they've got a lot of people on board, probably just to fire them from out here. Uh, only board them if they take an absolute hammer in, so like a hundred hits or something. I think this is going to take a low amount of hits. What's that? 30, oh they surrendered already. Good. 3,663. Just ten, 10 turns left and then it's over, I think. Who's this? Another troop ship. So that should be easy pickings. And that, if we, if we uh, defeat that, that'll take us over the 50,000 bits of gold. It's either 50 or 60. 10 victories, 4 defeats, and that's when we just we just disappeared uh, from that warship. And thankfully, they didn't chase us, which is quite good going. Well done, Spaniards. Da -da 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 -da. Right, okay, if you are watching from Spain, and a big hello to you. It's all a bit of fun, this. It's all a bit of fun. It's just goodies versus baddies. The countries involved are irrelevant. And it's just using history as, oh well, as a backdrop, isn't it, really? Right, attack. There's, there's lots of ships now. 53,000. We've got enough. It's just a question of surviving now. And the, uh, the ship's DP is 296. Uh, it's looking good, really. Only a fool would lose from here. Talk about setting yourself up, right? 18 hits, that merchant takes it. Most of the ships seem to be merchants, don't they, as we go around. There's the odd galleon here and there. That's gonna sink. That's gone, is it? No, it surrendered. On fire. Good. 12 victories, 4 defeats. We're coming to the end of the game. Coming to the end of the game, folks. This will be a big long review. And it's a bonus vid, so it's a bonus long vid extra thing with you. Hopefully it makes a million pounds, or at least 58,000 gold pieces from YouTube. Thank you. So if you're watching this, uh, we we'll need all the help we can get. Tell your friends or retweet it on YouTube, because I will put it on there as well. Not YouTube, but Twitter, that's it. Or retweet it on Twitter. If you want to follow me, I'm Jenkins7Nick. Hurrah! There's a lot of, uh, well, stupidness go on there, a bit like on this channel as well. It's all about ease and stress, seeing how the game plays, and deciding whether you would have gone back to it as a kid, and I did go back to this one as a kid quite a lot. There we go, that's how you do it. 4,900 gold pieces. Diddly 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 dee. I'm getting ready. We've got, yeah, we've got over 60,000, so we've made our total. It was 50 or 60. We could take this poop ship for a uh, troop ship, not a poop ship. I, I, I wouldn't want to board a poop ship. Um, that might be a little bit smelly. Ah, um, but yes. There's a poop deck, isn't there? So maybe that's on a poop ship. Just survive this and we should be there to win the game. Hopefully there's a great game over sequence. I think it's just some text, actually. And oh, that's sunk. Well, goodbye, fellas. Another attack. 59... One left. Right, that's it, I think. What's it going to do now? Here we go. Stand by your beds. Have we won? Have we not won? The boat's still alive. The year draws to a close. Have you stopped enough gold from getting through? The Queen's spies report that, yes, you have. Spain's armada now cannot sail. You're awarded a knighthood, great. And Francis Drake becomes your cook. Well done. Hooray, we've won. 
We've done it! Who'd have thought it? Who'd have funk it? But there we go. So I hope you liked having a look at that revisited plunder. A bit of an upgraded from the sound of my first review done about, well, maybe five or six years ago. If you played this game, let me know. Uh, that was Plunder, published by CCS in 1983. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Thanks for watching again. It's really, really, really appreciated. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.